In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to shoot videos using Nikon's and RAW files with N-Log, as well as color grading settings for DaVinci Resolve. To successfully film in N-Log without causing unwanted saturation, we're going to use a common method called ETTR, which stands for Exposed to the Right. This technique involves getting the exposure as bright as possible to preserve a great tonal range in the shadows without any of the highlights losing information. Once you toggle on the histogram in the settings, it will appear like this. Overexposing by about plus 1.7 stops should work in most cases. Try to keep ISO between 800 to 3200 to minimize noise. Alternatively, you can use the auto ISO setting and turn the VND until the ISO settles around 1000, giving you a little bit of elbow room if the exposure changes during the take. Now I'm going to show you the DaVinci Resolve workflow. The following color grading method enhances the flexibility of videos filmed in NRAW. In this process, we convert the NRAW image into a color space that is wider than a typical monitor, and after grading, convert it back into the color space of the monitor. This workflow reduces clipping from the oversaturation of colors, making it an effective solution for recording subjects such as colorful LEDs that may be used as practical lights. Once you have added your NRAW clips to your project, you'll want to start by modifying your project settings. Go to File, Project Settings, then select Color Management. From there, select the following, Color Science, DaVinci YRGB, Timeline Color Space, DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate, Output Color Space, Rec. 709A for Mac users, and for Windows users, select Rec. 709. Then scroll down to Lookup Tables and set your 3D Lookup Table Interpolation to Tetrahedral. That's it for the project settings. Now I'll jump over to the Color tab at the bottom of the screen. Here I'm going to set up three nodes. You can right-click on your first node and select Add Node, and then Add Serial. Repeat this exact step once more to add the third node. From there, I'll go to the Effects at the top and look for Color Space Transform and add this effect to the first node. Here we're going to change four settings. For Input Color Space, select Rec 2020. For Input Gamma, Nikon N-Log. Output Color Space, DaVinci Wide Gamut. Output Gamma, DaVinci Intermediate. Once you've set the Color Space Transform for the first node, add the same Color Space Transform effect to the last node. Here, we're going to change four settings. Input Color Space should be set to DaVinci Wide Gamut. Input Gamma should be set to DaVinci Intermediate. Output Color Space, Rec. 709. And again, Output Gamma, Rec. 709A for Mac users, and Rec. 709 for Windows users. With all that set, you can adjust your settings in the Camera Raw tab in the middle left to further refine your video. You can add any number of serial nodes in between the two Color Space Transform nodes for color grading. You can also right-click on a node to change the label to avoid confusion. Note that any color grading should be applied to the middle node, and the same process can be repeated for all clips. Thanks for joining me for this quick look at the workflow using Nikon's NRAW files with NLOG in DaVinci Resolve.